Thanks for joining me on my Mark Report. My name is Mike, and my Mark Report is on mortgage rates. Uh, we cover what uh, impact the mortgage rates on a daily basis, whether it might be something from the economic counter, could be something from geopolitical or even potentially headline news. Sometimes good news is bad news, so the market sentiment changes, and some, and many people don't know why or what's going on there. So we try to go out and give you guys an explanation as to what's happening, and hopefully give you guys uh, the information you need uh, to help you make a better or at least an informed decision uh, moving forward. So a little bit about myself is I'm uh, a loan officer. I do work with the National Lender. We do uh, help people in all 50 states. So we're able to help you with if you're looking to purchase and give you the pre-approval and finance that property as well as uh, refinances that maybe you're looking to do, whether it's a cash out, taking money out of your home or looking to just better your rate or going from a 30 year to a 15 year. Uh, different things like that, we help a lot of different clients uh, in, with what they're trying to do with their homes and structure their debt. Uh, so if you guys got questions, uh, please reach out. Uh, uh, but we're also here as a resource uh, for you guys as well. So if you guys are looking to uh, have questions regards to the programs or uh, that's available out there or mortgage rates or different things like that, again, reach out. We're here to help you guys out and be a resource for you folks. So without further ado, we'll jump in with our economic calendar. Today's kind of somewhat of a big day. We got inflation data on the wholesale side of things with the PPI as well as manufacturing out of the New York region. So uh, we'll start with the PPI, uh, the headline new PPI uh, month over month. Uh, last month's uh, December was uh, revised uh, from 2.2% to higher at 0.4%. Forecasters come for half a percent, and it jumped up 1%. So obviously that's a pretty big jump uh, month over month. And then uh, its core, when you exclude food and energy, uh, it's uh, December uh, went up a little bit too, revised a little bit higher from a half a percent to 0.6%. Forecast has come for 0.5%, and it came in hotter at 0.8%. So these are obviously news that we do not want to see because, we, as we all know, inflation has been getting out of control. Uh, this doesn't get the respect as the others because it is on the wholesale side. I think sometimes prices go up. It doesn't get passed on to the consumer. So we pay more attention to that. But at some point, uh, they do they, ha they can only go up so far before they have to pass on to the consumer. Uh, here's the year over year. We went from 8.3 uh, on the core uh, year over year, core producer price index, from 8.3 to 8.5 uh, revision in uh, December. The forecast was supposed to come down to 7.9. It came down to 8.3%. So before revision, it would be remain unchanged, but because of the revision, it went downwards. Um, so uh, that one's kind of usual. Uh, lastly, we got the New York Fed Manufacturing. This is also known as the Empire State Index. Uh, so it went up. Uh, it was actually down uh, last month. It kind of surprised people. It dropped 0.7% uh, in the month of uh, January. Forecast was supposed to be a huge drop or huge jump upwards to 12.15, and it came up 3.1. So it came in a little disappointing, uh, but it did get back into positive territory in the month of February here. So LI news, uh, some of, the, of course, the one that's been uh, on everybody's minds of late is the Ukraine and Russia. So right now, uh, it looked like yesterday they were talking about the satellite images were showing that they're going into a formation. However, now it looks like some of those. Um, Armies, we haven't got verification yet, but uh, it's being stated that they potentially could be going back to base. So the ones that were being moved around into look like an attack for ba basis, uh, uh, re reports are saying that potentially they could be going back to base uh, as well. And then uh, and Putin's been talking with NATO as well. So the, so it looks like there's some diplomacy being worked out there, which is easing the market. So stocks, as a result, are in positive territory. Um, with, the, with that news, there's also, of course, we've been talking a lot about the Fed, what they're going to be doing with their next move in terms of rate hikes as well as uh, balance sheets. They want to find out how they're going to reduce the balance sheets uh, and as well as if they're going to have a half a point rate hike in March or not. So those have been uh, the speculations of late. So uh, let's look ahead uh, how the bond rating bonds are doing. Uh, we are down 16 basis points, and what does that mean? Mortgage rates are a little bit higher as a result. Uh, yesterday, we settled out. We didn't uh, close at the lows, thankfully, but we did a close up, uh, close down 25 basis points. So 
uh, still uh, brought us into worse territory uh, pricing wise. So that basically it means a quarter of a point uh, in the fees. So right here is uh, we basically adds another probably less than approximately another eighth of a percent in our rate uh, as a result. So right now we're down about 0.16. Uh, and here's how the day looks so far. Uh, as you can see, pretty volatile going up and down, up and down. So uh, a lot of volatility in the market so far still uh, as a result. And then let's take a look at the treasuries. Sorry about that. We're just trying to get these out here. Treasuries did break above the 2% mark, uh, and then uh, right now they're just at 2.04 right now on treasuries, on 10-year treasuries here. So, again, uh, we'll get back up in the 2% range in terms of treasuries. Lastly, we'll take a look at the uh, average rate on a conforming loan limit. Look at the 30-year, which is now up to 4.1, and uh, the 15-year is at 3.33%. So, as you can see, these have been rising uh, a bit. Uh, I've been, I think I've been, been looking around November or so. Uh, those have been going up. And they do have points built into them. Uh, if you get rate quotes, typically you see them by quote an eighth percentage rates. Uh, so these have points built into them. So these are kind of almost like an APR in a, in a sense. Not APR, but they are uh, in them. So that's why, why APR will be on there because they do that closing cost uh, built into the rate, which is the cost over the, the life of the loan. All right, folks, so if you guys get questions, again, uh, please reach out. We're here to help you guys out. Uh, if you guys like these videos, help. please help us. We greatly appreciate any assistance uh, by sharing us and smashing that like button. We greatly appreciate you, folks. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll look forward to you guys seeing you guys tomorrow uh, in our next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.